we want to express the number as a ratio of integers. So here's the number 2.516 repeated. So as you can see, your repeating decimal portion is a uh, three decimal place. So five, one, and six. Our goal is to express that repeated portion uh, as a geometric series. So that's what we want to do. So as you can see, you can write this number as two plus the repeated portion. So this is five, one, six, a three decimal place. You can write that as five, one, six over a thousand, just like that. In other words, I'm going to write it as just using exponents 10 to the third power. Then the next repeated portion, uh, it's going to be another one, two, three. So that will be five, one, six to, to over 10 to the sixth power. And then, the, and then the next one, again, 5, 1, 6 to the power of 10 to the 9th. So you start to see pattern how we're generating each term. The goal is to rewrite this as a geometric series. So you want to find your first term and the common ratio R. So as you can see that our common ratio to go from the first term to the next term will be the following. So let's see how we can do this. So if we have this term, 5, 1, 6 over 10 to the third power, well, how do we generate the next term? So what we have to do is take that term 516 to times 10 over 10 to the third power. And if you multiply this one over 10 to the third power, you're going to get this term right here because you'll have 516 over 10 to the sixth power and so on. So the next term we're gonna generate by simply taking again, the number a, which would be 5, 1, 6 over 10 to the third power, but we will have 1 over 10 to the third power uh, to the second power. So that's going to give us the next term, which will be this one right here, and so on. So you start to see that your common ratio, as we call it r in the geometric series, happens to be in this case 1 over 10 to the third power, and your a in our geometric series for this problem will be 5 one, six over 10 to the third power. So now if you were to write this into that uh, summation form, you will have, so we have two from before, plus now that uh, uh, repeated decimal, we're expressing it as a geometric series, the sum starting from n equals zero to infinity of a, which is five, one, six, over 10 to the third power times the common ratio, which is one over 10 to the third to the power of n. And now you just wanna test it out, this formula works. It works because we know this is how we express geometric series if a sum starts at zero. So we wanna know what will, will this converge to? Now, since your common ratio here, r, happens to you one over 10 to the third, we know that as long as are in absolute values less than one, then our geometric series will converge to the following. So this will be two plus, this will converge to a over one minus r. So we're gonna plug in our a and r value. So you will have the fraction. So a is five, one, six over 10 to the third power. And we have one minus r, r happens to be one over 10 to the third. And then we just simplify this. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have two plus 516 over 10 to the third. Let's write that as a thousand over one minus one over a thousand. And then if I can write one as thousand over a thousand minus one. So that's gonna give us nine, nine, nine over a thousand. And then this will simplify to two plus 500 16 over 999. Nine. Now combining these fractions using common denominators, you will have 1998 plus 516 divided by 999, and this will be equal to 2,514 uh, uh, over 999. So